And welcome to day number four of this Eat More Plants challenge. I hope you enjoy it so far. And you can go and watch the introduction video if you don't know what I'm talking about and you want to join this challenge. You will find everything you need in that video, including the free five day meal plan. But now let's get started with day number four. So for breakfast this day, I'm gonna make a quick green smoothie, which you will need some bananas for, and some frozen mango and baby spinach, and also some oats. I love using oats in smoothies. It makes them more filling, and yeah, those fibers are super healthy for your gut. Then I'm also adding some plant milk. Now we're just gonna blend this up. You can of course add more water or plant milk, but I like my smoothies thick. <laughs> I've been making this smoothie so many times since I started eating plant-based many years ago. So now let's eat the leftovers from yesterday's dinner and don't you just love leftovers? It just makes the whole day so much easier, smoother, because it makes me take less decisions. So it kind of clears my mind. Anyway, so just add everything into a bowl and if you have it in one container you can definitely eat it as a cold salad. If the peanut butter dressing is a little bit hard after the time in the fridge, you can just add in some more water and stir it around until you have a nice uh, consistency again. For a snack, I'm gonna eat my lovely brownie bites. I love these so much. They're literally taste like a brownie. And yeah, as I said before, if you feel hungry at this point, please just eat more because your body needs food to function and thrive. For dinner, I'm gonna make a sweet potato bowl. This one is really, really easy to make, but still full of flavor. So first we are starting off by cutting up some sweet potatoes and red onion, which we place on an oven tray lined with parchment paper and again, no oil is needed. Just roughly peel onion apart like this, but don't make them too small because otherwise they will burn. And now you are gonna roast this for 25 minutes on 200 Celsius degrees. Meanwhile, we're gonna make a tahini dressing. This tahini is also sometimes called tahina when it's super smooth. Yeah, tahini, lemon juice, maple syrup, and just stir that around until you get a paste like like this one and then you just add some water stir it again until you get a nice and drizzleable consistency so set that aside and now we're gonna prepare the chickpeas so I'm using a can of chickpeas which you want to drain and rinse Add them to a pan together with some ground cumin, garlic powder, chili powder, salt and some water. And now we're just gonna heat the chickpeas up. Let them simmer until the water is gone. Meanwhile, you can wash the kale and remove the stems if you like to. I tend to remove the stems and just roughly tear them apart. Scoop the chickpeas aside and add the kale to the other side. Add a splash of water and now you're just gonna let the kale steam until they are a little bit soft. I'm actually not that happy in raw kale, so that's why I steam them. I find it to be much easier on my digestion and it actually tastes better. By now, the potatoes and onions are done and it's time to assemble a bowl. So start with the kale, the red onion and the sweet potato. You can keep the peel on if you want to. Then add the chickpeas. This dressing is to die for. It is the best and it works on bowls, on salads, on nacho plates, on everything, I promise. Yep, the food containers are back. We are gonna add everything into containers to prepare ourselves for success tomorrow in the kitchen. <laughs> Just scoop it all in there. You can also eat this cold if you want to. I have tried, it is delicious, but I prefer it heating up so you can heat it in your microwave or yeah, however you heat your food. Save that for tomorrow and that's it. I see you tomorrow.